So today, we're going with part two of my top three coins I'm buying in this bear market. Now, these three coins, two of them I've talked about before, and one of them you know I love. There's one, though, that I have not talked about yet, and I've actually been FOMOing over it, especially today. I can't wait to get into this with you, and I'm super excited. Here we go. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Altcoin Picks. First, I want to say sorry that I was able to get this video out a few days ago. I got super sick, was throwing up like crazy, and now my, my throat's hurting. I don't know if I sound any different on here, but in person, I sound completely different. Anyways, thank you so much for being supportive in my Discord. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to smash that like button, everyone. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button below. So first, let's talk about 0x. 0x is an open protocol for decentralized exchanges on the Ethereum blockchain. Basically, they're creating a protocol using Ethereum smart contracts for anyone in the world to operate a decentralized exchange. So if we compare their all-time high to their price now, we're looking at $2.53 around right here on January 9th. They hit 1.2 billion market cap. And right now we're looking at 55 cents, 287 million market cap. That's a pretty significant difference, almost five times gain just to hit that price point again. So what do I think the potential for zero X is? Honestly, conservatively, I'm looking about five to $8 billion, similar to Dragon Chain. But if they're able to reach out to the masses, possibly get on Coinbase and just get mass adoption of decentralized exchanges, then this protocol could really jump up in price. If it hits that 8 billion market cap though that I'm kind of predicting, we're looking at $16 per token, which would be awesome if you're investing right now. So why do I believe Zero X will hit this potential? So first, their team is super active and they have a few superstars that are from big companies such as Apple. Next, they have several projects that are already using their product. As you see here, we have a list of dApps that are using or will be using the Zero X protocol, and then a list of relayers that are using or will be using Zero X protocol. So as you can see, their product is already being used. This is awesome, something we rarely see in the crypto space right now. Next, as I said a little earlier, and I've said in a few videos ago, they have the potential to hit Coinbase. They have a great relationship with the Coinbase team, and if they're able to make it on there, they have a huge new market to advertise to. The new people buy from Coinbase, I buy from Coinbase, the, the new, the experience, everyone. Buy from Coinbase, and this could really jump up the price because it would be a cheap coin, similar to Ripple. It wouldn't be like Bitcoin where it's $8,000 or whatever it tends to be. <clears throat> and then finally, protocols, in my opinion, are the future. Zero X is leading the way for decentralized exchanges, and I expect them to continue to do so. So if decentralized exchanges are able to be successful and Zero X beating the leader, then we could really see some huge gains with this coin. So the next coin we're talking about, and one I have not talked about yet on my channel, and one I've been FOMOing over today, is Origin Trail. So they are the first purpose-built protocol for supply chains based on the blockchain. It's a scalable solution for data management across complex supply chains through purpose-built decentralized graph database. So let's check out their all-time high and compare it to the market cap right now. So their all-time high is around 46 cents on January 28th, and that's right when they jumped on coin market cap. We're looking at about 117 million market cap when they hit that price. And we're currently at about 11.8 cents or 30 million market cap. So we're about four times their all time high if they were just to reach what they've already done before. Now, what about the potential for Origin Trail? Now, I will admit I don't know about this coin as much as I do Dragon Chain, Zero X, or Land Chain, but I feel that I've done enough research to at least give an opinion on what I believe they can hit. And I want to compare them to probably the top of their class right now, VeChain. So VeChain has had significant partners lately, hit some huge all-time high of $3.5 billion. Right now they're at about $1.5 billion. So if they're able to hit just where VeChain's at right now, we're looking at 125 times that. So if they're able to hit that 1.4 billion mark, we're looking at 50 times the current price. Now, if we're able to hit VeChain's top all-time high of 3.5 billion, that's 125 times multiplier. So obviously a lot of things have to click for that in terms of partners, just a product being successful. And I don't think that's that far off to be honest. So why do I believe that Origin Trail can hit this potential? First, 
They have a huge market with some huge players and supply chain is here to stay. And I think it could really benefit from blockchain. Next, the project has been around for five years, which is a huge amount of time for any project coming to the blockchain. It's something that we love to see. After that, they got on KuCoin super quick, showing that they mean business. And I honestly believe they are a good candidate to jump on Binance. They have an extensive roadmap with April having the Ranger release and the Cosmo release. June, we had the test network launch, Lunar Orbiter and Explorer release. Then we have May, we have the Zod and Survey release. And then September is their network launch. They have a pretty awesome team with 18 people. Check it out. Let me know what you think of their team. And then finally, we have the Trace Alliance. So this is an alliance that Oregon Trail has set up, which is a collaboration hub connecting businesses, startups, academics, business leaders, and tech vendors with supply chain subject matter experts looking to resolve different organizational challenges in supply chain management. The Trace Alliance allows companies to receive early access to developing technologies facilitating new application development centered around the Origin Trail protocol. This one's huge. I think this is what really makes them stand out and can really be the catalyst to them getting some huge partnerships, which in my opinion is awesome and something that you should really not overlook. Now the final coin, Icon. Icon is a platform that will allow blockchains to interact with each other via smart contracts. They want to hyper connect the world by building one of the largest decentralized networks in the world. So their all time high was $12.64 on January 8th. So it goes around right here. Yeah, around there, January 8th was about 4.8 billion market cap. Almost hit that 5 billion spot. They didn't make it. Either way, they're at $2.06, around 800 million market cap, which is almost seven times the price right now just to hit their all-time high. So Icon's potential. This is where they shine, in my opinion. Many people, including myself, see Icon as a top 10, maybe even top five coin. And if we're... If they're able to hit that top 10, that's $3 billion, which is about three times, almost four times where its current price is at. And I know I might get some slack for this one, but I really do think that Icon is one of those coins that can compete with Ethereum. I might be a bit biased because I love Icon, I love WanChain, and I love Aeon, that, that interoperability alliance. I love that they're trying to bridge that and just work together. So in my opinion, the sky's the limit here. Let me give you an example. If Icon is able to hit $50 billion, which is far from Ethereum's all-time high, and I know 50 billion is a lot, but let's just give this an example. We're looking at times 62, its current price, $129 Icon. And again, this might be a bit ambitious, but this is one of those projects that has the potential to actually do that. So why do I think they will hit this potential? First, they're pretty much South Korea's Ethereum. And the South Koreans are extremely involved when it comes to investing in the crypto space, taking an enormous amount of the training percentage. Their team is one of the biggest and most impressive in the crypto space. They have some huge advisors that you check them out. They're some of the biggest names in blockchain. <clears throat> Their project has been in development for over two years under the loop and has already has real world applications. Their partnerships are huge. Similar to WanChain, they are one of the leaders in the Interoperability Alliance. They're already on Binance and one of the highest volumes on that exchange. And they already have a working mainnet. And then, like I said earlier, they have that top 10, maybe top five coin potential. And it's one of the most promising coins on the market. So if they go down like they are right now, this is a coin you love to dollar cost average. I don't know very many people that don't love Icon and anybody not excited about this price is crazy or haven't done their research on this coin. Anyways, that's my part two of my top three coins I'm buying in this bear market. Icon, Zero X, and Origin Trail. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button. I want to thank everyone who's been supportive of me while I was sick the last couple of days in my Discord. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.